Hey guys, I wanted to do, I got a couple of uh, videos, some requests I need to get taken care of. This one is for Larry. Um, Larry asked that I showed my toolkit, and um, I assume you're talking about the copper side of the things, um, Larry. I've got a ton of ABO stuff too, but most of it I'm just now starting to use, so... Um, but this is my copper stuff. Um, it got quite a bit more elaborate here in the last few weeks. I purchased all these lead-filled boppers. I've had the copper ones for quite a few months. Um, but okay, so let's just get into it. So first and foremost, let's talk about the indirect. We'll get that out of the way. So this is my indirect stick under the leg type deal you can see it's a little bit droopy there i usually use it with the with it facing up like this um and these are some different strikers that i use with the indirect ideally this bit would probably need to be a little bit longer too it's just three eighths copper that i hammered out uh, to tool harden it a little bit and then filed a little mouth in there and then uh, these are some of the different uh, weights and different hardness of my strikers I like to use the wood sometimes on more delicate materials um, more brittle stuff it seems to hold the platforms together it transfers the energy uh, much differently than the antler or bone or metal wood or the del run um but i really really like the um result i get from using the antler uh, these two are just elk antlers that i picked up at uh pet local pet store pet smart i think just a little bit larger one there I just recently got this one. I thought about mounting a celt in it, making an axe handle. <laughs> um, so that's my strikers, my indirect. Um, of course, you need a file. Um, my hand pads. You can get a rubber slotted hand pad. I do use those, but um, recently I've started just using a piece of leather and. And another folded over piece there just to shim it uh, shim it up in my hand you know I put it in my hand like this um, I've been doing it like that in my recent last couple videos I think and then oh you gotta have this for your indirect you want to use uh, soft leather for uh, for your leather support when you're wanting to drive a deep flake or kind of hold a flight down, support it. That's what I use. It's just a thin piece of leather folded over. I use it just like that. I think all this leather, or most of it, um, came from Hobby Lobby. Just the assorted, you know, you can get the assorted pack for like 15 bucks or whatever. They've got all kind of stuff in there. Nothing real thick, but. Uh, for soft leather and stuff, it's it's fine. So let's talk about my <clears throat> the direct percussion, the solid copper billets and the lead filled. Uh, this is aluminum, obviously, and this is just something I was playing around with. I haven't used it a ton enough to really talk about um, yet, but I plan on it. I I can say it grabs the edge like crazy like it's super grabby it snags a hole of the edge and tears the flake off real aggressively not aggressively um it's just really grabby that's all i can say so um as you know and uh as opposed to the copper where the copper is not quite as grabby as that that aluminum is at all so it slides along the, the platform a little more. And they'll get these 
textures on them, kind of his little dimples wore in there. And I was filing them for a while. If they get, if you get carried away with them, trying to do a little too much, it can get dimpled up pretty bad. And you, and you need to hammer it or file it one or the other. But uh, I've altered these billets quite a bit. Some of them I like cut off flat, like this large one. I cut it off flat. I kind of wish I would have did that with one of the smaller ones and left this one around. Just for working big pieces and odd shapes and stuff, it's kind of hard to get that flat because you're just working off that either right off the face or right off this edge. Um, but these are solid heads. I've added some electrical tape to these smaller ones, handles the handles on them. Um, it kind of creates a little bit of a grippy texture. I tried to wrap from the top down on that last on that last run, and that that helps uh, make it grippy, grippy, grippy. So I even tried grinding some contours in there just to you know make them fit your hand a little bit better, stay in your hand easier when you're swinging them. This seems to help. So these are about three to like three and a quarter inches long, I think. I'm pretty sure they come, they're, they're four inches. See that big one's three. This one's like three and a quarter. So they're, they're all about around three inches long. And then of course the lead filled ones are quite a bit larger than that. Um, well, they're just the, you know, the size they come. I, I ordered all this stuff, uh, or most of it from flintknappingsupplies.com. They've got great tools. Um, really, they've got really good quality stuff. So that's where uh, these lead-filled boppers came from. Uh, and most, most of these other tools. So a couple of them I've got in different places, but... Um, this one I got at Home Depot. <laughs> um, so, yep, that's that's my different tools. Oh, the pressure flakers. So I've just got a couple handheld ones, two different sizes. Um, that one's a little on the, on the large side. I don't know if that's what, quarter inch or what, three-eighths. That's a, yeah, that's a big, big one. And then I... I usually got a steel nail laying around somewhere that's flattened out for notching and uh, trimming stuff up and and that. A couple different grits of abraders. So I think that's uh, pretty much the, the basics without filling a picnic table up with a bunch of stuff that I don't use at all. So, um, yeah, hope that helps, guys. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want me to do a video on or want to see. Um, happy to do it. Thanks, y'all. Have a good day.